Hi guys, this is Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we're going to show you something which we have never done before. In this video, we'll be doing a teardown of the Chiku Qterra smartphone to show you the internals as well as the other circuitry in it. The Chiku Qterra is the first phone from Chiku and it comes with a duoscopic camera, metal body and a fingerprint sensor. Let's go ahead and shut down the phone and get started. Let's remove the SIM slot and the micro SD card slot first. Let's start the teardown from the back side of the phone where we need to melt the glue at the top and the bottom. We're going to use a hairdryer to melt the glue to remove the plastic parts first. After half an hour of struggle, we managed to remove the plastic part after scratching it a bit. Let's go up to the front and remove the display now. We're going to use the hairdryer for this process as well. Once the glue is melted to a certain extent, we can remove the display using a suction cup. There is a ribbon cable holding the display. Let's remove the screw and remove the ribbon cable that is connecting the display. But before that, how cool is it to play games with a separate display? Sounds cool, right? Here's a small demo of that. Enough of gaming, let's go ahead and remove the display now. Now the display is out of the way, let's remove the screws and dive into the internals. There are 12 screws blocking our way, let's remove them all. Before removing the logic board from the backside unibody, we need to remove the fingerprint sensor cable. Let's remove the fingerprint sensor now from the back plate. Coming back to the logic board, we need to disconnect the battery first to prevent short circuit. There's a lot of insulation tape. Let's cut it off and remove the battery from the board. Let's remove the screws which holds the logic board. Now we need to remove the cable which connects the USB port and the speaker to the logic board. Once they are out of the way, let's lift the logic board out. Interestingly, there's a thick copper wire running from the chip to the side of the board. We'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and remove the speaker unit and then remove the cable connecting the ports and the speakers to the logic board. Now let's go ahead and remove the duoscopic cameras held in place by dual ribbon connectors. These are two 30 megapixel camera module sensors from Sony. Let's remove the front facing camera now. This is an 8 megapixel camera module. Let us separate the proximity and ambient sensors from the board now. Let's remove the metal shield hiding the chips. First the processor or SOC unit. Remember the copper wire we showed you earlier? It looks like the copper wire is directly on top of the processor unit and it helps to transmit the heat from the SOC to the side making the processor not to throttle on heavy usage. The phone manufacturers these days speak about the heat issue and their methods involved to resolve it. We can be sure only if we tie down the phone. In this case we can certainly believe the claims made by Chiku. About the processor unit, we have the storage unit from SanDisk which is rated at 16 GB. Let's move to the back side of the logic board and remove the metal shielding as well. We can see some more chips and the dual LED flash. There is a chip marked as Qualcomm 8994. Thanks to Chipworks, we came to know that the Qualcomm PM8994 is a power management internal component. So that's it for the teardown guys, we managed to take out all the parts except the soldered ones like the SOC and so on. It's quite surprising to see the components out in the flesh. We did manage to put it all back together and even turn on the phone after this. If you wish to see more teardowns, let us know in the comment section below and tell us which phone you want to see a teardown of next. We hope you liked this video and hope that it was fun watching. If you like this video, do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.